because this dude is for the streets period hello everyone and welcome back to my channel it is me friends me back with another video and today i decided to do a video on this trend that's been trending <laughs> This, this video that has this video trend that I've seen on YouTube where it says Sims 4 but every room is a different YouTuber or Sims 4 but every room is a different personality I thought I'd put my own spin on it and do Sims 4 but every room is a different guy I did it because I guess it's time for me to spill some tea I mean not all the tea because I don't really want you guys all in my business but just a little bit in my business so I'm going to spill some of the tea to Day and I'm actually happy I am um, doing this video because I've had this idea in my head for a month now But my anxiety wouldn't let me do it like Any video that requires me to put Myself on camera and speak takes me a while to produce because of my anxiety guys Sometimes I can go months without it and sometimes it's really really bad and when I bring this up I don't want any pity from you guys because I have a good support system but putting yourself out there is hard. It, I don't know. It doesn't matter how long I've been doing YouTube. This is different and I'm excited to do this video and I'm excited to give you guys some tea and let's get right into the video. Alright, 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 alright. Oh my god, I'm gonna spill some tea. Before we get started, I just want to let you guys know that I've never, 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 ever, ever, ever in the Sims history built a house. And for this challenge, I was I, des I decided that I wanted to create a house. So when I was doing it, I was struggling so bad because I didn't know where everything was. It was so foreign to me. And moral of the story, I suck at building houses. Are you not ashamed of yourself? Are you not embarrassed? This is really embarrassing. That was really embarrassing. Like, props to builders because I can't do it. I was... I can't do it. I can't do it. Alright, so I'm going in game to show you guys my beautiful house. <laughs> Let's get right into it. So I decided to decorate the game, decorate the rooms offline because my anxiety won't let me do two things at the same time. By the way guys, are you guys excited for the new snowy pack? I am excited. I feel like this is one of the first times I'm actually going to play the game. The first time in a long time I'm actually gonna play the game. So if you guys wanna help me on this, let me know in the comment section. Cause I'm actually interested in playing a full LP of the snowy pack. You know what I'm saying? So <clears throat> Okay, anyways, we're gonna start with the African aesthetic room. So, so we're gonna start with my first ever relationship. Me and this guy we met in college and I'd say to call him the stupid African guy. He was from Cameroon, which is a country located in West Africa, and I come from Cameroon too. So I thought he was the perfect match, you know, first boyfriend, taking classes together, we're in college, you know, we're cute, and we have the same culture, everything was gonna be good, but turned out he was a stupid cheater. And the reason why I said he was stupid is because he cheated on me with someone I knew. Someone that's actually supposed to be my best friend at the time. You are a whore and you will not disrespect me like this today. Good night. Oh, honestly, think about how it makes me cringe. Like, we're not going to expose her, okay? Whatever. But yeah, like, he was a dumb cheater. And then he made me dumb because I stayed after. So be careful what you did because if you did a stupid guy, that stupid is going to rub off on you. And I was stupid. And it was my first relationship. So give me a pass, don't judge me. Yeah, guys, let's talk about this room. So we're gonna start with the room. It's kind of nicely decorated, you know? It's kind of nice because he cared about his style. So that's why the house is a bit stylish. It's African aesthetic house room because he was from Africa, more precisely Cameroon. And uh, let's start with the pool and the dance floor, okay? So the pool and the dance floor are there because he liked to party and talk to other girls while he was in a relationship and any weekend he could be at the bar or the club, he would take that opportunity. I'm sure he would appreciate that. I'm very considerate to put that in his room. So he doesn't even need to leave his room to do all that 
messed up stuff. He doesn't need to leave his room. Like, everything is right there. And then you have a table full of alcohol and wine. Because he loves to drink. And every time he went out, he always get wasted. And then he would take out his car and spend all, all of his money. And then the next day, he would, he would be like, where's my money? No, you spend it on bitches and bottles. Don't ask me about your money. Anyways, now let's go to the shelf. As you guys can see, these shelves are empty. It's just a representation of all the empty promises he made. All the promises he made are never fulfilled. So that's why there are empty shelves in the room. <laughs> oh my God, my head. <sighs> Stick to my lip gloss. Now, what else? Oh, how could I forget? How could I forget the most important? We have street signs in his room. Come on. You guys know why I put street signs. Isn't it obvious? Because this dude is for the streets. Period. He's the type of guy that cannot be content with one girl. But I am so grateful that he cheated on me, guys. Because now I have a perfectly splendid boyfriend that I love so much. And I am so happy that I didn't end up with this guy. Because anyone that end up, ends up with him, I'm sorry, but they have to be okay with him talking to other girls because he does not know how to be monogamous so good luck good luck to anyone that wants to venture in this room next room we have an army truck i bet you guys are wondering girl what the hell what the hell well the army truck is because the next guy i did it after i broke up with my long-term boyfriend i did it a guy from the army which i would call rebound army dude and we met on tinder i think and at the time i said him i didn't realize he was a rebound but it was so soon after i broke up with my ex so towards the end i realized that this dude is a rebound because i i just didn't feel anything when we broke up you know it's like i was like okay just another day <laughs> and i put this workout machine in his room because he had like a workout machine in his apartment, whatever. I put him an army bed just to match the aesthetic. You know, I also put these posters of black African women because not until after I realized this guy was obsessed with dating a black girl and I was not okay with that. It, it just made me uncomfortable when I figured out that he was chasing black women. Why are you chasing black women? Leave us alone! It's one thing to meet your guy and just vibe with them and just get along but then once you have like a certain race you want to date that's weird to me people are actually turning preferences into something actually disturbing so yeah he was very obsessed with black women and i remember the first time i went on a date with him he blessed this african song trying to impress me or whatever I'm like okay dude we get it you've dated other african girls the last time i spoke to him he told me that he wanted to have a mixed baby who says that like so I have a dining booth here because this guy was obsessed. Like he was obsessed with going out to eat. Like he always wanted to go and eat. Like I'm traumatized. He was very insecure. And because I didn't want to go and eat with him all the time, he was making like scenarios in his head thinking that I was being sneaky or something. But no, I just wanted to work. I love making videos and that's what I'd rather do, you know. So, also he was a pathological liar. On top of being insecure so that was a no for me you know there's so many more things he did but when we broke when i broke up with him <laughs> okay let me stop being petty it doesn't matter who breaks up with who as long as you leave a relationship that you don't like but yeah when we broke up um i felt nothing and it's crazy because every time i break up with a guy they think i'm joking like it may take me a while to leave but when i'm gone i'm gone it's not coming back they all thought I was joking. Or they all thought that they could come back and try and talk to me. But boy, when I'm done with your ass, I'm done with you because you should have appreciated me the first time. And it's not period. Anyways, let's go to the next room. We're going to come with the high society Serbian soccer player. The reason why I say high society because he was very much about... He cared very much about his environment, like how he portrayed himself on Instagram. He wanted to, he was always talking about the most luxurious restaurants to go to. He's a soccer coach, but he used to be a soccer player. So when I found out, I was like, oh my God, I'm dating a soccer player. Oh my God. Oh my God. And he's Serbian and his accent. Oh my God. 
there's one thing to be cute and have style and have all these things, but then if you can conversate with me, you're boring. I, I cannot stand guys that have nothing to say except for the fact that they look good. What am I supposed to do with that? What am I supposed to do with that? Anyway, so I put a soccer goal on his, in his room because he was a soccer player. And I put a lot of workout equipment because he was really into his looks, you know, building, building these muscles. Like he was like, mm, I gotta look good. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> he was really into himself and posting shirtless picture, looking like... Guys, if you saw his Instagram picture, he thought he was a model or something. I put a lot of mirrors because he was so full of himself. Like he was so full of himself. There's a lot of fish. There's fish on the table. Fish on the wall. Fish, 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 fish. Also a glass of wine. So this guy, we probably did it for like two, three weeks. And um, this guy was really into fish. His dad was made of wine and fish. And that's all he would talk about. Because that's the best thing for your body. Also, he doesn't fry his food. He only bakes it. Because you got to keep that shit. You know what I'm saying? I just stopped talking to him because, like, I would talk to him and then he would text me two, two months later. Like, who does that? Like, no one is that busy, okay? No one is that busy. Uh, people have their phones with them all the time. Like, this is how I stopped talking to him. He said he was going to Boston and then when he's back, he's going to make plans for us to hang out. This guy left. And he came back. And the reason why I know he came back is because we matched on Tinder, and Tinder can tell you someone's location. So when he was back, I could see that he was, yes, I'm crazy. I'm psycho. I stalk the people I am interested in, okay? Don't judge me. But yeah, I could see, when he came back, I could see that he was 10 miles away from me, so I knew he was back around my area. And he, didn't, he never messaged me, and I was like, you know what? It's okay. I don't get attached to people fast. That's one thing about me. Like, but once I'm attached to you, you better come correct. Yeah, so I was like, okay, whatever. So after that, around January, he messaged me out of the blue. He's like, hey, I'm so sorry. I've been busy. I bought an apartment that I've been renovating. And I left his ass on red. Red. Anyways, let's go to the last but not the least room because it's all about my boyfriend, the current guy I'm dating right now, and actually took more time to do his room because he's my boyfriend and I care about him, so let's get right to it. I actually think that I did pretty well. This is like the format of his room. So my boyfriend has two cats, and their bowl, their bowl for the food is usually in front of the door. This is so cute. He has one called Kaden and one called Jensen and they're the cutest. I mean, Kaden is kind of stubborn. I think he hates me low-key because every time I'm with my boyfriend, he always wants all the attention. And he's just like, meow, meow, get up, get up, meow, 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 meow. And I'm just like, chill, bro. <laughs> Kaden. Guys, I'm going to put pictures of my boyfriend's room and then you guys can tell me how well I did. Because I think I did pretty decently. Obviously, I didn't spend hours trying to decorate this room because I got a life. I got stuff to do. Sorry, baby. So this is his bed. And then he has this mirror he has on top of his bed. He has a fan here that is always on. And the thing about me and my boyfriend is that I get... I like heat. And he doesn't like heat. So this is something we clash on. But just imagine us sleeping in the same room. And then he has a lot of Marvel comics in his room. He's into he's into Marvel movies like Haze from my series and Twinning. He actually got me to start watching them from the beginning. So I've watched Iron Man, then I watched Thor, then I watched Captain America, then I watched Avengers, and I've already watched Black Panther. You know, rest in peace, Chadwick Boseman. Rest in peace, Wakanda forever, guys. I was literally so upset when this guy passed away. I wasn't myself all week. But yeah, rest in peace. So then I've watched uh, Guardian of the Galaxy, which I love. And it's my favorite so far. And my next one I'm watch I've watched Spider-Man. And the next one I'm going to watch is Doctor Strange. I'm just watching them in order right now. And um, I love it. You know, my boyfriend really got me addicted to those. So yeah. Guys, my boyfriend is a nerd. And he's a media designer. That's his job. So me and him, we 
like we have so much in common it's crazy it's a match made in heaven he has a computer desk where he uses a screen and his laptop for work he has a lot of um what do you call legos that he mounts up i'm gonna put pictures i didn't have legos in my game so i put these figurines of those marvel superheroes yeah he has a lot of more stuff in his room but i couldn't find in my game also i put he has a tv in his room and he has a Nintendo Switch, which he actually gave me to use, but I haven't used it because I haven't had time. Let me show you. Guys, it's here. But I think I'm going to give it back to him because I don't use it, you know, and yeah. Maybe if I find a game to play. I mean, I see everybody playing Animal Crossing, but I don't think that is going to entertain me because it kind of looks boring. So... Yeah, but yeah, maybe I got your Nintendo Switch. But you know what? I'm not going to give it back to him. It's mine. Mm. <laughs> Anyways. Okay, and then he has a TV here. And I put Netflix on it because he loves to binge watch movies. I think he's finished watching Netflix. Like, this guy, my boyfriend has 48 hours in a day. Normal people have 24 hours. This guy has 48 hours. He does so much in a day. I'm like, I'm shook. And he also helps me with my TikToks. Like he's so helpful. He's great. He's a great communicator. I love him so much. He has a couch here that I forgot to put, so I'm gonna put it right now. He doesn't have a couch. He has an armchair. Okay, I'm gonna put this. It kind of looks similar. And then this is his bathroom. Pretty simple. Nothing extra. And then he has a cat litter box. Speaking of that, I'm usually not a cat person, I'm more of a dog person, but I've come to fall in love with his cats. But when it comes to them pooping, it smells so bad. Is it, wait, is it every cat that smells like poops like this? I remember like I was spending the night at his place and literally when one of the cats pooped, I woke up. That's how bad it was smelling. Like I'm shook. I'm literally shook. I will do a story time on how we met. So if you guys want that, please give this video a thumbs up i want to let you guys admire my marvelous house <laughs> my first ever house i've built in the sims 4 all right guys thank you guys so much for watching this video please if you support me make sure to give this video a big thumbs up subscribe to this channel and my main channel also you can follow me on my other social media i have instagram i have twitter i have two tiktok accounts one where i make videos with my boyfriend and one for the sims and that'll be all for today. Thank you guys so much. I love you guys. And I'll see you on the next one. Bye.